Hello, hello, everybody. This is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing. Welcome to this episode today on Get Unstuck, and giving you some card sketches to revamp your creativity. I will be sharing with you sketch number two, and I actually even have a picture you will be able to check later on on my blog or on my Facebook group as well, Stamp a Blessing. I will be showing you today some ideas with the new Stamping Up Sweet Christmas Time. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think you're gonna love it. I have many samples with the one sketch I'm showing you and I also have many samples with this particular sweet. At the end, I will be bringing a word to you about what are you telling? What are we telling? And I'm super excited to share with you this morning. So, but you see how my table is already holding the new Christmas time sweet it has the new Christmas rose and Christmas rose stamp set there they're actually two boxes but it's one set okay and this is a photopolymer one and this is a cling stamp set so during this episode I want to actually bring you a sketch to revamp your creativity I want to just um, give you a tool every once in a while I'm gonna keep bringing more and more videos I already gave you one and let me show it to you it's the one that we did a few weeks ago. Um, this was the sketch that we followed and I think I posted already on the Stamp a Blessing group. And here, this is the new one that we're gonna be using today. So I'm super excited to share with you the card we're gonna do. We're gonna do one card, then I have multiple samples that I did with this beautiful set. And I also have some other samples um, I, I just have too many samples to show you today. It's just too much fun. So stick with me for a little bit. But the, let me show you the product to start. Usually I do paper pumpkin, but today this is what has me all excited. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to create with what is exciting me at the moment. And right now, this is what is in my heart. This is so precious. You're going to love the different samples that I created with it. And it's so easy to use. Now, this stamp is a cling stamp, as you see right here. And then the other ones, these ones are actually photopolymer. So they are all da -da -da, like that. Okay. And it has with, it comes with many, I have many tips for you. Um, the suite also comes with a coordinating, um, set of dies called the roses dies. Very, very nice. It also comes with some gems. These are the gold glitter enamel dots. Okay absolutely love that one it comes with some nice ribbon that we're going to be using today i put a little tape in there to hold it in place but this is the beautiful gold ribbon that comes with it okay and it also comes the entire suite it costs like 112 dollars and 50 cents i think it is the entire suite comes with paper and also includes this absolutely gorgeous um bracelet look how pretty it is it has a stamping up um stamping up charm and then it has a rose and i believe you can take them off or put new ones in there i wonder if stamping up is going to bring haha <laughs> he's going to bring more that would be really cool but it comes in a nice box that you can actually give to somebody and also comes with beautiful beautiful paper and um, um let me show you real quick the, there's three there's three designs okay double-sided designs uh, there's this one with the flowers and it has that foil in there you see the gold foil on the flowers and then on the other side we have some pine cones and beautiful uh those little thingies that i don't know how to call them right now haha -ha. and then um one of them i already cut it but it's a 12 by 12 has this foil one right here and then on the back it has this happy one i like it because it kind of it kind of makes me feel like valentine's so this paper can be used for many things and then it also has this one i've been creating so there's a lot of paper in there and this one has roses and it has that foil as well in it so it's absolutely gorgeous just playing a bit with my new sweet christmas time is absolutely beautiful it has four sheets of each of these designs four of each so that would give me 12 sheets i believe yeah 12 sheets double sided absolutely gorgeous i use a bunch so first of all i'm going to start with a old olive card base and this is an 11 by four and a quarter and i score in half at five and a half okay and i'm going to have right there you will also need two sheets of whisper white cardstock and these are cut at four and a quarter by five and a half one will be in the front and one will be on the inside okay 
You will also need a little piece of uh, paper. In this case, I'm using this one. Um, it's from the Christmas time designer series paper. So you'll need uh, one that is a four and a quarter by three fourths. And I'm using also a little bit of ribbon that kind of passes through. I just cut it like that. And this is part of the gold ribbon. I made myself a pretty bow because you see my sketch has a bow right here. I'm going to be placing that in there. And I made myself a... Um, one of the cutouts from the from the die cuts right here from the dies I made myself a cut of whisper white this is going to be used right here for my sentiment and I made one of the beautiful um, endings look how pretty this is don't you think that is absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love how beautiful that looks is so I I, I um, cut the gold foil sheets that we have and it comes with two of them so you can put them in different corners right there this is absolutely gorgeous this one i think is a little example of this one i was going to use it and then decided not to i cut it i have four of them in there in flirty flamingo but i wanted to just share with you a little bit of this beautiful sweet and now i'm going to bring my beautiful stamp this one and i will also bring my early espresso okay so let me move things around here so you see everything that I'm doing. I'll do early espresso and we are going to be creating the background of our card. And to do that, I'm going to be inking this beautiful linear, it's, it's like linear image. Really, really pretty. We're going to be using this one right here. Dee -dee -dee. It is, it is beautiful. I really like it fell in love with it and uh, I like sharing what is exciting me at the moment and this is really exciting for me I am not necessarily a rose person but when I saw this set I thought you know what I'm gonna give it a try I I think I can even share I can bring some ideas and some ideas are right here for us right now so we are going to be doing this let's see on the inside of my card I'm going to use another color so I'll clean this let me clean it real fast I'm going to be using the old olive for the inside and I want to already stamp it. So let me put this one right here. I'm going to be adding some of this. Good morning, Gloria. So good that you're here this morning with me. Thank you for joining me. I'm stamping today with the Christmas time is here. Ha ha. I'm going to put this right there. Yeah, I like it. I think it's going to look real pretty. Look how pretty. Okay. So I have, um, let me give you a quick tip with this set. Absolutely love it. Since we are going to do something else with the die cuts in a second. But I decided that in order to stamp on top of my flower, I could actually put all of my, my photopolymer stamps in order of how they actually fit on this flower. And this is the way that I did it. I went ahead and took the front of my cling stamps at Christmas Rose and I brought the stamps that are going to go around my flower and I actually positioned them right on top of the image, okay? And you could do this if you just stamp it. You can do it right here also. You can do it on top of, the, of your stamped image, but I decided just to pick them up from here. So I just look real well where I'm putting those, you see? Then I'll bring this one and put it also here. And that leaf right there helps me bunches right there and this one may go right here and this one will go right here and I love how those this leaf right here really helps okay and then when they're all positioned where they go you come with one of your biggest stamps or clear blocks and you pick them up There you go. Now let's stamp with it. Look how awesome that looks. Beautiful. You can use different colors, definitely, but just I wanted to show you that good tip. Now, I stamp this with Early Espresso, okay? And one of the coolest things about this, this complete suite is that the paper that comes with it actually coordinates with the die that comes with it, okay? 
So I'm going to open my die and I'll show you. Chum, chum, chum. And what I did in this case is that I, there was a flower right here and I already cut it for my sample. And I was actually able to cut it with this. Like I cut it with scissors and then I put it through the big shot with this. And if you see this big leaf right here kind of shows where this is going to go. So they coordinate and I really like that I can use the flowers from the designer shirts paper to create some of the cards with and today we're going to do that okay so there's one here that i believe fits perfectly excellent so i'm going to take this one and don't be afraid i'm just going to cut this around here i'm bringing my big shot in here and i want to show you how wonderful it is that this fits perfectly in here i'm gonna Thing that is pretty good right there I'll just hold it in place I don't want it to go anywhere and I'll pass it through my big shot but there is our beautiful image and I absolutely love that you can cut the entire image if you don't want to stamp and you have the paper you can do it that way but otherwise you can stamp the entire image and then cut it okay and okay Let's go ahead and keep doing our card here. What else do we do? So we have the front of our card and we have our card base and let's put all this together right now, okay? And the way I did this is I work with this first and this flower right here is gonna go right there. Like I'm gonna put it right here in the center and I know this paper is gonna go right here, okay? And I'm following this nice sketch, as you see, right there. I'm having an, an image here, which is my focal point. And then I'm going to be putting my sentiment right here. That's the way I'm going to do it. Now, I don't want this to be too high. So we're going to be putting it right here. I'll use some of my glue. And I just want you to think of different um, stamp sets that you have that you can use this with, you know, this idea with. Sometimes we're not entirely sure how to use something and you have images at home that you can actually use. Okay, so I'm going to come I'm going to come a little bit lower there. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Now, let me bring it a little lower. Yep. There you go. Then I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to take some of my scotch tape. Love using my scotch tape. And I'm going to just come around it like this. This is a simple card I'm sharing today with this nice sketch. I love having my sketches because they work with so many cards, okay? So many stamps, so many things that you can do. And you know what? I'm going to, I want this right at the top and this I'm going to fold it in and then I'm going to put more tape on this side. So that is done right there, okay? I don't think I need to do anything else to that. So I'm gonna be adding some glue. I love my my liquid glue, and I'm gonna add it to my the front of my card base, right here. Da da da. And you know something that I'm planning on doing is actually adding some dimensionals to the back of that flower because I want that flower to kind of pop out, not to be flat flat on my card. So I'm gonna put it right there, and maybe right here and right here. GG. This is such a pretty, pretty set. Okay, now I'm going to bring my beautiful cut that we made with a gold foil and we're going to put it here. And I'm going to bring my paper piercer again because I want to stamp. And in this case, I'm going to bring Flirty Flamingo. I have another tip for you. This one is going to work. <laughs> Not yet, not yet, but this one is gonna work. And I'm just going to stamp my flower. I absolutely love, this is the inside. It kind of comes so you can stamp the image or color it without necessarily having any coloring pencils or anything like that. And I'm gonna come here and I'm just gonna stamp a little bit. And I go very softly. You see how it kind of changes? You can see the image that is gonna be on my label right there. I love the different, like it's not totally crisp. It kind of gives it a dimension 
that's what I love about this and I have some nice samples to show you about that so just give me a few minutes and we're gonna be doing it I'll bring my early espresso again and I will be stamping this sentiments may this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love and these are beautiful Christmas wishes for someone that we love right I'm gonna be going like that look how beautiful that is absolutely beautiful I love this suite I'm really enjoying it now I'm gonna turn this around hey that was not very 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 straight but for the purpose of time I'm just gonna let it go I'm gonna put some of this behind it was not mega straight what's going on with me and my stamping today chin, chin, chin. so good to see you all here thank you for joining me just making one card today to show you this wonderful wonderful right here this wonderful sketch love my sketch number two okay so I know this is gonna go here and I did not cut it oh Jessica you went ahead of yourself so I have to cut this right there so I'm gonna need to go and eyeball this <laughs> I have mercy Lord Jesus I'm live and I'm doing this live but have mercy on me okay if this doesn't look perfect it is totally fine so I'm gonna put this right here it may not be the most perfect card but it's going to be pretty and this I'm gonna be adding it right there so I'll just put a little bit of glue there and I move it around and a tiny bit of glue right there I'm not afraid of using my glue and I'll put this right under right there look how cute that looks isn't that so beautiful okay I'm missing my bow to follow the sketch and I love that I can have the sketch however I want it to be you know you can turn the sketch and make it your own I'm just going to use some of my glue dots here to add my bow let's see and don't go anywhere I have so many nice samples to show you I really got um, a little bit too excited with this set but it's actually very easy to use and I'm gonna put this right there so look at that okay now I have one tip for you with this card the front of this card is done already and I hope you like it I'm absolutely in love with it and I love this beautiful cutout it came from the paper so I did not stamp that much but I was able to stamp on the back with early espresso now I want to show you a little detail that I tried yesterday and I really like the look of this um I really like the look of this rose and I didn't know how to make it without necessarily having stamping blends or something like that and then I realized that I'm I'm missing my cherry cobbler stamping pad so I only have the cherry cobbler stamping spot that paper pumpkin gave me and I said well I can still use it right so I'm gonna clean this really fast let me find this I want to clean it and I want to be able to show you what I did to get something a little bit similar to this with a cherry cobbler and a blender pen is what I use I really like the result so I'll just show you um, how I'm doing it and then I'll show you a sample with it so I'm just gonna add some color to this the best I can love this flower how it has that image it looks like a photography you know like a photo there I'm adding that there's my lid there's my little lid and then I'm gonna come here I'm gonna try to position this where it goes Doo -doo -doo -doo. okay and then I'm not pressing it too hard because I actually want some of those white spots to stay there okay I did not press too hard at all but now I'm gonna bring my blender this is my blender pen from stamping up blender pen and I'm going to start moving the color around and look how cool this looks I'll move it around and it looks so much different than when I just stamp it don't you think the color changes it kind of becomes more like this it kind of becomes more like reddish while when when I just stamped it was a little muted you know don't you like this? I absolutely love this. I 
Thank you so much, Maria. I'm so glad that you're watching today. I really, really like the look. So I'm going to share a card that I finished with this. But I'm doing this for the inside of my card right now. I'll show you the different samples that I created with this. I cannot wait. I was too excited. I thought, you know what, I can do that. And I love how it looks so like it's popping out. Don't you think it looks like it's popping out? Like it's popping out of the card. That flower now is not just there. It's like it's popping out. Don't you think? It's like... like <laughs> Like it came up. I don't know, but I really, really like the look on it. It looks like it's off, like it's higher. And all I did was stamp with Sherry Cobbler. Again, I used my stamping spot and then I went ahead with my blender pen. Really, really like that idea. Let me show you a card that I created doing that, okay? And this one is completed right here. Look at it. Isn't that cute? I did the same thing with the same thing with Cherry Cobbler. I kind of stamp it like this, you see? And then I went around and this is Calypso Coral Blender Pen and I used some of my old olive um, stamping blends, I'm sorry. Stamping blends and I put a little bit of color. I actually stamped this image on old olive and I did not color those leaves right there. I just kind of added some color to the big leaves and to those cherries or berries and then a little bit of crumb cake on the pine cones and that is it with it and then on the inside I did that okay so this is this is something that I really 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 like about this card um and this set particularly and I'll be adding this on the inside of my card but let me show you the original card that I created here it is and that is way more straight right same card and we have the same sketch right here and I also have the inside I did it a little different because this card I did it afterwards and I thought oh I like that more for the inside of this card this was just stamped I never colored with a with a blender pens I just stamped it on top and it, I, I kind of press it a little hard so you don't see like the the dimension of it so if you press it real hard you won't get so much of the dimension but if you are very gentle with your rose you will get those dimension and color and it's really really neat so this is one of the cards let me show you a few examples before i go into christmas time let me show you a few examples with this particular sketch because i want you to be inspired to create with this sketch i want you to be able to make beautiful things with it okay so give me a second uh where are they okay um, let me move some things around here. Okay, so I made uh, the Everything is Rosy is back on my store on the clearance. And I thought, you know what? Why not try this same sketch with the Everything is Rosy? And if you have it and you have some leftovers, you can do it. And I use that gorgeous, gorgeous um, border that comes with it. And I embossed just... So instead of doing a circle in here, I just did a square. Okay, so this is a good idea with that particular sketch then I made another one and this is the harvest hollows I decided again my image is that pumpkin right there very very nice I just put a very neat um gray granite ribbon right there and I think this was the first card I created with this sketch you see I put two banners right here in this one I did a little different I put whoop a, a label looking that way but you can be creative you can change things around and make them your own right so that is another idea this is another idea with the nature's beauty and you see again absolutely same sketch i went and put my sentiment up here you are loved completely i made my line and i added one of my beautiful deers right there i just love that deer who doesn't like that deer i love having this stamp that is so gorgeous and then i added some of my can't remember the name of my die right there is one in the big catalog and some of my my i don't think i put oh i just did a line on the inside so that's one of them you see many ideas with the same sketch and this is the last one if you celebrate with celebration last year you may have the hello cupcake stamp set and sometimes it's good to go back and check what you have in there and i thought this would work really really nice again with this sketch and i want you to be inspired to create i want to give you some tools to do so so this is the sketch that i'm bringing today for you and again i use that same stamp set with some of my new um 
the center source paper and look at the inside celebrate your day some confetti and some flowers so these are some of the cards that i've done that i wanted to show you particularly with this sketch because i want you to be inspired to create with this sketch okay now i want to bring you some other cards that i made with this fabulous christmas time so let me show them to you because they're so pretty okay I, i'm almost done I'm almost there. Okay, so this was one of the first ones that I created. Very, very simple. I haven't even added a sentiment to it, but I wanted to show you how you can just... This is just stamping. I stamp even the berries. You can stamp on top, okay? They are perfectly aligned with a photopolymer. Very, very easy to do. So this is one of them. Then um, this is one that I did with some stamping blends, and I also used... Haha! -ha, I used my Sharpie my bronze metallic sharpie okay to do this card i just went around and went crazy just coloring all that and all the berries with the bronze so that's just another idea right there this is a totally different color combination right here with the christmas time i decided to use the new purple posy haha to stamp my flower and this one doesn't have any coloring at all i just stamped everything is purple posy and then the mint macaron I use only those two colors right there, but I did something actually very particular with this one. And it's, if you notice, I actually stamped the linear image is, is embossed in gold. So if you see the image per se is embossed in gold. And then after I embossed, I was able to stamp on top like, like nothing, which kind of resembles what happens in this flower that it has some gold around it so i thought that that would be a pretty cool thing to do with this set now this is one of my favorites right here and this is just with a piece of whisper white card base right and i decided to stamp on early espresso and i also put my wishing you the gifts of the season peace and joy I embossed it on gold and I did one of these ones to open here. So when you open the card, it says on the inside, Merry Christmas. And again, I, I think this is one of the easiest cards. This is just about an inch that I took off and then I added an inch of the center source paper, okay, on the inside. So you could do something like this. That's one of my favorites. Then this one, I have like two more. Yes, I have two more. This is another one, very elegant and very easy card. What I did with this one is I stamped the main image, okay, this one. I stamped it on Versamark and with gold embossing powder, I just did that. And then I did it again and I cut this flower by hand just with my with my snips i cut just the roses and i put them on top with some dimensionals and hey look at this i was able to actually um heat emboss on foil with the black embossing powder now what i suggest is when you do it make sure that you don't touch it right away because if you touch it right away this is what happens Aha. I did not realize, and I did the first one, and ba! I touched it right there, and you see it went it, it went off. But if if you just give it a few seconds, it will go dry in no time. So these are just a few um, nice ideas I wanted to give you. This is just using the gorgeous paper and the enamel dots. Really, really like that. I have two more samples. Two more. Actually, I have three. <laughs> I know I went crazy, but I wanted to show you ideas. Now, this is one of my most favorite cards right here. Okay, what I did is that I only use this um, the stamp of, of the flower, the one that you're supposed to use to, to color the lines. I decided just to use it with Flirty Flamingo, and I'm using right here the Mary Merlot because I didn't have any more cherry color. <laughs> and it's very similar. And then I gold embossed the Merry Christmas that came with a set. So this is a very, very simple card, but it looks so cute because of the dimension that this brings, okay? Absolutely love this cling stamp. It absolutely brings such a beautiful dimension. And then I went on the inside of my card and I stamped the flower again and the sentiment made this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love. So honestly, I got super excited with this set and I, I didn't know where I was going, but one more, don't go. I have one more. <laughs> I just keep bringing you ideas, but I really like that. Okay, so this was my last, no, my uh, almost last idea. I thought that it would look really, really cute with um, gray granite, okay? This is Flirty Fleur Flamingo and gray granite. And now let me tell you what I did. I actually did not use this one. I did not do that one, you see? All I did was this one 
and then all the leaves that I messed up with with the spruce color <laughs> you know what I mean right my blooper at the beginning yeah that one well this is the little the little the little ones that you are actually able to put together I'm gonna edit this video I'm gonna add that little part in there so you see how I actually did it but it should be pretty good so I did that. I just put the flower and then I stamp. Actually, I stamped the gray granite first and then I stamped the flower right in the center. And look how beautiful that looks. I just put a few pearls that are the metallic pearls. Okay, super simple card. And then on the inside, I actually use the linear to give it a little bit more, um, you know, a coordinating theme right there. One of my favorite cards. And now, last but not least, I brought this sketch on my last Get Unstuck video. Okay. And I made many different cards like this ones, etc. Well, I decided to create one of this sketch with the new Christmas time suite. So you have two sketches right now to work with. And I hope that you like this idea. I love how this sketch actually permits you to use. Um, this is a two by four piece of paper. Um, just um, punch with the light fold top topper punch I think I said that right and then I took some of my roses from the designer suits paper I cut them I put them there and you can see some of the some of the die cuts or the dies that come with it I put some of the gold in there because it's absolutely beautiful and then I made the inside of it with some of the paper so I really really hope that you are inspired I know that if I ask you which one's your favorite <laughs> was, was like you go crazy it's like what in the world she means she has like 20 cards in there but I don't know maybe it's the gray or maybe it's the little fold in here it's super super simple fold i really like the uh mint macaroon and i really hope that this sketch get you unstuck where's my paper with the sketch here it is i hope this sketch really gets you unstuck and you start creating with what you have and if you want to take a look at this beautiful suite you can go to my store and check it out i have not posted yet on my blog but i will <laughs> <laughs> there's so many good ideas right so so i'm going to turn my camera around and i'm going to share what's been in my heart and what the lord's been just ministering to me today and i want to go to psalm 145 okay check this psalm is very inspiring and i was meditating on it and i just i just got so much out of it i will just inspire you to go and read it psalm 145 because i can't read the whole thing but you can <laughs> okay so let me read it it says i will exalt you you, my God, the King, I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and exalt your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. I just love that. Then it says that this is, this is the coolest part. It says, one generation will commend your works to another. They will tell of your mighty acts. They will speak of your glorious splendor, the glorious splendor of your majesty, and I will meditate on your wonderful works. They will tell of the power of your awesome works, and I will proclaim your great deeds. Check this out. He keeps saying what they will do and what he will do. Then it says, they will celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious, slow to anger, I'm sorry, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. But I'm not done. Verse 10, it says, all you have made will praise you, O Lord. Your saints will exalt you. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might so that all men may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. And all that came to my heart as I'm reading this is, you know what? This generation knew their God. This generation was telling to the next generation about their God because they knew him. There's no way they could say they will speak of the splendor. They will tell of the power. They will celebrate your goodness. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom. They will speak of your might. You know, they, you can't do that if you don't know the God you're talking about, right? So today I'm like, what is coming out of your mouth? What are you telling? What are you sharing with the next generation? 
generation. What is the next generation need to hear what you know. And if you know your God, it is necessary that you open your mouth and you start declaring who he is to the coming generation. And this just fills my heart because I want to tell of his wonders. But in order to tell of his wonders, I need to know my God. I need to be... Um, intentional in the way that I seek him. I need to be intentional in spending time in his word and meditating on his word. I need to be intentional in adoration, in sitting down and saying, Lord, I'm here. I came to meditate on you, to think of you, to be in your presence and to know you more. And we need to be intentional in our surrendering to him and saying, Lord, it's not what I want, but what you want. And you know what? You are making a difference not only in this generation but the generation to come it is necessary like in Psalm 145 that you tell of his wonders and that you actually take time today to know him so I invite you to know Jesus I invite you to take time to sit with him to worship him and to be face to face with the God of the Bible the God that created you and me and the God that loves you so so much so what will you tell? I will tell of his wonders and I will be intentional in seeking his face and sharing his presence with the next generation. Hope this blesses you today. And it just, it, I don't know, it just puts a flame in your heart to seek the Lord and to make a difference, just sharing it with others. You can do it through cards. Just tell about him through whatever gift the Lord places in your hands. Just display his splendor. You shine for him. Thank you so much for being here, for listening, for encouraging me, for being such blessings and stamp of blessing on Facebook and also on YouTube. You really bless me with your comments and with your likes. And just I just rejoice in having such a beautiful, supportive community. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you enjoy this sketch and that you try it and share with me what you are creating. God bless you so much. You have a beautiful day. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.